What is Iona doing to make education affordable to middle class and lower income level families? So a number of things. One is we're trying to offer more scholarship funds and make the actual cost of attending lower. You were born this way. No one made you this way. You, I can't, you're just, uh, can I curse here? You're amazing, okay? You're amazing! So what advice do you have for students who are struggling with their sexual orientation? We all struggle with sexuality. I don't care who you are, people always struggle with their sexuality. And if you're struggling with your sexual orientation, it's fine, it's part of growing up. That's, you know, you struggle with the way you look, you struggle with your body, you struggle with so many different things. What you want to do, what you want to major in, what classes you want to take, do you want to be on this team? Your sexuality is fluid and it, and it develops as you develop. And we came here today to demand an end to violence against women. We believe that a very deep cultural change needs to be made so we can change the role women have in society. And so people can understand that women are important, independent, and powerful. Yeah, you know, a lot of people bike to the train station. We get a lot of clients that do that. So I think there's a bike community here, and that's more bike friendly than a lot of other places. Um, so I would say it is bike friendly. Um, I think the vehicular traffic around here sometimes people get a little too caught up in getting from point A to point B and don't give bicyclists uh, a safe path. Tristy Gudrill is a senior at Iona College. She's an above average student who cannot afford the cost of college on her own so she works multiple jobs to pay off her loans. So this summer I had three jobs. Uh, I tutored, I waitress and I interned 38 hours a week. So tell me how the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge began. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. We we knew it was going around for other causes, but we didn't have the, uh, I don't know, we weren't just on top of it enough to start it on our own. We are raising awareness for the injustice that was uh, shown last night, where the cop who shot Mike Brown was not indicted. You have been a lifelong resident of New Rochelle and mayor since 2006 and currently you're running for Westchester County Executive. So talk about the reason behind this transition in your life. For ICTV News, I'm Kyle Byrne.